Okay, let's fast forward. You're very close to completing your first video edited with Final Cut Pro 10. You're super excited. You're ready to get this published, maybe onto YouTube or share it with your friends. And something happens and you open up Final Cut and everything's gone. How does that feel? That doesn't feel too good, right? And that's something that is very easy to avoid. There are reasons that data gets lost and things happen but you can protect yourself by creating a backup. And it's in very important to create a backup plan now before you started your projects so that you can avoid losing anything. And there's a number of reasons why something might go wrong. You might say, I'm very safe. I have a desktop at home. No one ever touches it. I'm very safe with everything. Well, it's not necessarily that you're gonna make a mistake and delete the wrong thing. Hardware fails. You know, as great as iMacs are, as our, our Apple computers are, uh, it's still a computer, it's still electronics, and everything does fail at some point. And other things happen. There could be a flood, there could be a robbery. Like, things happen that are out of our control. But what we can control is how we make a backup. And a backup is simply a copy of data to another place. And so I'm going to talk about a few ways to make a backup plan and for what you should consider. So inside of Final Cut Pro, there is actually an option. You'll see if you go to File, Open Library, there's this option that says From a Backup. So Final Cut Pro is making backups, and they're, they're called an automatic library database backup. And so it is making some kind of a backup in case something weird happens inside of Final Cut. But this backup uh, only helps you with little types of data. It's not copying any of your media. It's not making a copy to a different drive. It's just making a, a local backup and a very recent backup of that of Final Cut. Some people think that Final Cut has an automatic backup that's just working, that's making copies of everything, and that's not the case. So what you want to do is actually make a copy of all of the data not just Final Cut, but everything that's on your computer or on external hard drives that you're using. And what I recommend using is Time Machine. If you go into System Preferences, which you can also get to from the Apple menu, you'll see there's a Time Machine System Preference pane. Just click on that, and you can see how the backup is set up for the computer. And again, the, the way Time Machine works, it gives us a little description here, but the way it works is it's actually making backups every hour that the Time Machine hard drive is connected, if you have your automatic backups turned on. So all we need to do is have an external hard drive that's our Time Machine external hard drive. And then Time Machine is gonna make those backups for you. This part is fairly easy to set up. You just have to connect that drive, and in many cases, it'll just say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do the backup for you. And you can even check this box here that says Show Time Machine in the menu bar. And then you have a little icon up here you can click on to say, hey, back up right now. And anytime you connect that drive, if automatic is turned on, it'll just start doing those backups for you. So that's all there is to it. Time Machine can even back up your internal drive and an external drive to your Time Machine drive. So it can get kind of confusing when you have multiple hard drives, but the way I like to do it is physically draw a map of your data. You might have a little square for your, um, your iMac, you might have one for your external drive, and then start to diagram how your data is being stored. And let me actually do this for you. I'm gonna open up Pages, which is a free app that's included with your Mac. I'm gonna create a new document. It's just for page layout purposes and word processing. And I'm gonna do very simple, but I'm gonna create a shape here. And actually there's, there's a whole bunch of shapes included. So I can actually just get a Mac here. Let's say I have an iMac. So we're gonna have this be our, uh, our iMac. And I got some storage here. We're gonna use a little storage can and we'll say that's our external hard drive and we have an iMac. So with Final Cut, you might import everything onto your iMac and the external drive here might be additional storage, which you may need in the future. You have just all kinds of data on here. So I'm gonna use a little red file here. 
Let's see, do I even have a file icon? I don't think I do. I'm just going to use a circle here that is red, and this will be our data. So if this is our video, we have it on our iMac. Maybe uh, we imported some other footage, which we'll call uh, yellow here. And so this data is stored on the iMac. We have some stuff there, and we have some stuff on this external hard drive. If something happens, let's say the iMac gets stolen, and this red data is not anywhere else, we've lost it. It's not backed up. So what we want to do is actually make a copy, which we can use Time Machine to do that. And we'll just say it made a copy of it over to this external drive. And that looks really good, right? If something happens to the iMac, not the end of the world because we can get that data back from our external hard drive. But if something happens to the external hard drive, we're going to lose this yellow data. We're going to lose something else that we have stored there. That's why it's important to have a dedicated external hard drive for your backup. So let me create another storage drive here and we'll say this green drive is our backup drive. And what that'll let us do is instead of making copies of the red data to I'm gonna send this to the back. <laughs> the back. Okay, there we go. So now the red data and the yellow data can get backed up onto this external drive. So again, this is, can be a little bit confusing to people that are new to backup, but just understand that anything that you copy to a computer needs to be copied somewhere else. And that's what we've done here. So using Time Machine, you can have it so that it automatically copies everything from your external drives and from your Mac. And it'll keep those backups up to date for you. So that's kind of an overview of Time Machine. Again, email FinalCutProHelp at me.com if you're curious or you want to create a very custom backup plan, and we can look at how to do that. But this is an overview of backup. I do want to mention as well, taking it to another level, which some people call me very paranoid for doing this, but if you are understanding of data and how important these things can be, uh, this is important. If this is just a goofy little video that you're doing just for fun and it gets lost, it might not be the end of the world. But if this is a wedding video or another type of video that's of a very specific event, something you can't go back and recreate, uh, if that stuff gets lost, I mean, that that's can be a very devastating thing. And especially if you have clients, it can be a very hard conversation to have with them. So uh, these backups are important, and you may want to take it to another level. Because if you have, uh, let's say, your home, right? If your house is where all of these drives and computers are, and something happens to your house, you're going to lose all that data. So that's where I recommend considering maybe an off-site backup. And that's where you might have a, a duplicator or second backup drive that's uh, of your time machine. You might have two of those backup drives and you could then store one of these in an off-site location, maybe at a friend's house or even in a safety deposit box at a bank uh, because that data then is safe outside of your home. You're making those external hard drive backups. Some people also use cloud backups through the internet. There's many services out there that, that offer the ability to make a backup to the cloud, and that's another option that you can look into as a way to backup that data. So for me, backup is one of the most important things because it's, it's all of the work, all of the hours that you're putting into it. Even if you have your original content somewhere, that you can import again. Think about all the hours you're going to spend editing and working on these projects. That can also be included in these backups. So you want to make sure to, to you know, if it's important to you, if you if you think this is worth keeping, you should make a backup. Losing it and going through the conversation of data loss and letting you know people letting people know that there's no way to get that back. You haven't you're starting from scratch. I've had that conversation with many people when their drives fail or when they have issues with their, their hardware. And it's not a fun conversation. So it's something that you want to understand. You want to make sure you do have that backup. And again, if there's any questions around that, I think out of anything we talk about, this is one of the most important things. So don't hesitate. Leave a comment. Reach out to me. 
uh, we can get that clarified for you.